I think Stoke Park is a very beautiful place to get married. There's lots of photo opportunities all year round, inside and outside. We're set in 350 acres of parkland and gardens, so there's lots of photo opportunity in the summer months, but equally in the winter months, we've got lovely settings inside with the open fires, beautiful staircase, so generally all round, nice venue. I'm the wedding coordinator here at Stoke Park, so I'd be your f main point of contact from your first show round right through to the very special day uh, where I'd hand over to the conference and banqueting manager who would look after you on the day. I'll help you with organising everything from the registrar, help you with florists, photographers. We have a full list of preferred suppliers so we can help you in all areas to help you get the best that you can have for the day. Stoke Park was originally built as a golf club. Um, about 15 years ago, the hotel side of things were added on. Um, it's been used as a filming location for James Bond, Bridget Jones's Diary, Wimbledon, so it has a, a good connection with the filming industry um, and used in numerous films over the years. At Stoke Park, we have three rooms that are licensed for ceremonies. We have the Repton, which is our smallest licensed room the fountain room and then the ballroom which is the room that's used most often for wedding reception, civil ceremonies. We've also just recently been licensed for our South Terrace so we're now able to carry out ceremonies outside which is a real nice addition to add on to our, our selection of rooms to be able to get married in. The South Terrace um, is actually a licensed area now and um, the bride and groom are set up underneath the cover of the terrace so they're elevated above their guests and the guests are seated on the gravelled area so all the guests on the day get a real good view of the bride and groom getting married. It's a real good addition to us for our selection of rooms. The wedding breakfast will take place in the fountain room which is up to, we can accommodate up to 120 people in this room. Your guests can have a choice of a, a long or a round head table. And as you go through the day, we have no turnarounds where rooms have to be used twice. Each section of the day takes place in a different room. So for the evening reception, your guests would move through to the ballroom, which all takes place very smoothly immediately after the wedding breakfast and speeches. The style of menu here at Stoke Park is modern English cuisine. Um, one of our uh, signature dish for starters would be our Dorset crab an avocado tian, followed by oven baked loin of lamb with mini shepherd's pie. And one of the most favourite desserts is our selection of mini English desserts, so each guest gets a miniature dessert on their own plate, so something to suit everyone and please everyone. There's a wide variety of accommodation. We have more traditional accommodation here in the mansion, or we have modern um, accommodation over in our pavilion. The rooms in the pavilion are much more modern and in keeping with the style of the pavilion and the spa, whereas the bedrooms here in the mansion are more traditional and that's where most of the wedding guests do like to stay because it's right where the function rooms and convenient for them on the evening. The bridal suite here at Stoke Park is the Pennsylvania suite. Um, it was used in Bridget Jones's diary and has been voted the most romantic hotel room. So for bride and grooms it's a very popular choice and perfect setting to start their married life. Here at Stoke Park we have um, a fully a full spa so your brides can have their hair and makeup taken care of either over in the spa or our team are more than happy to come and um, take care of everything in the bedrooms for you so you don't have to be wandering around on the morning of your wedding and be pampered in your room and looked after. The staff here at Stoke Park have all been here for a few years now especially the teams that work with the wedding. So we all work very well, we know how everything should be going. Um, so they all do their very best to make sure that you have the most wonderful day. If you're looking at booking your wedding here at Stoke Park, obviously the first step would be to come in and have a look around the rooms and see the options that are available to you. We then, once you've decided if you would like to go ahead as Stoke Park as your venue, we'd arrange for you to have your menu tasting where you get to try the dishes that you're considering having on the day and make sure you're absolutely 100% happy with everything and you can tweak the menu if you need to. Um, we would then have a coordination appointment 
where we'd sit down and run through all of the details, making sure that everyone is clear and fully understood of what you want on the day. And then finally, about a week before the wedding, we would ha have a final coordination just to make sure everything's 100%, cross the T's, dot the I's, and then you would get to meet your master of ceremonies who'll be looking after you on the day as well, so you have another familiar face around. We work on a package basis here. We have packages that range, again, from kind of six people up to 120 people. The packages are kind of are pretty much all-inclusive packages, so from a budgeting point of view, it's nice and easy. You've got a price per person, so you can work out exactly what it's going to cost you on the day. But there is some flexibility within the package as well, so we never, never say no. If there's something that people, the bride and groom, are looking for, then we would always look to, at a way to try and accommodate that for them and make the package work in a way for them, so they can have their ideal wedding day. I think Stoke Park is a perfect wedding venue because um, you are not restricted on being able to be outside for your photographs. You've got a choice of indoor and outdoor photo opportunities, so whatever the weather, you're guaranteed some brilliant photos from the day. The staff are all very attentive and their main focus on the day is looking after yourselves and making sure you have the best possible day. 